thank you for your interest in the Montgomery County Reading Olympics. The goal of this initiative is to encourage students of all ages and abilities to form good reading habits. The program taps into a child's natural interest in being part of a team and participating in Olympic type events. The competitive aspect is not emphasized. We promote it as a celebration of reading. A steering committee meets regularly to make plans for the coming year, including book selection, question preparation, registration, training, and coordination of the big night. For current information about the Montgomery County Reading Olympics, use the internet to find the Montgomery County IU website at www.mciu.org. There you will find this year's reading list, guidelines, and the schedule and location of events. Welcome to the Montgomery County Reading Olympics. The Reading Olympics is a year-long program which begins in the fall and culminates in the spring. Teachers and librarians who wish to participate are given a fair amount of freedom to coordinate and organize the program to fit their school's needs. General guidelines are provided by the steering committee to ensure fairness. The Procedures and Guidelines Manual is available on the Montgomery County IU website. The program is organized into three levels, elementary, middle junior, and senior high school. Mixing grades and reading abilities allows a unique opportunity for students to work together and to get to know one another. Team members are not expected to read all books on the reading list, but to work together and create a plan to ensure they are read by one or more students, creating a real team experience. Each team is made up of 8 to 14 students. The night of the competition, a maximum of 12 students are permitted in any given round. The numbers are flexible to ensure that each team registered is able to compete on the night of the Olympics. Two faculty members must be registered and accompany each team the night of the Olympics. The person designated as the team leader will stay with the team, supervise behavior, and move with them during each of the three rounds. Prior to the night of the Olympics, the second registered adult will receive an assignment as a moderator or scorekeeper for the evening and will not see their team compete. These individuals will be notified by mail and a training session will be held. The night of the competition is full of excitement as hundreds of students, faculty, parents, and siblings gather to celebrate reading. Months of preparation by readers, coaches, and organizers come to a peak. Upon arrival, the teams and team leaders proceed directly to the room assigned for their first round. Moderators and scorekeepers must check in at the appropriate registration areas to pick up materials and instructions. Keeping to almost military precision eliminates confusion and ensures that everyone has a good time. Teams compete in three rounds. No one is ever eliminated. Team leaders coach their members with last minute reminders. The coin is tossed and the competition begins. You will flip a coin to determine which team starts and team A will call it in the air. Twenty questions will be asked of each team. Everyone ready? Team A. In the book on my honor, where did Stark Rock get its name? Teammates confer and the captain answers or designates someone to speak. Time. I need your answer, please. Oh. Take the time, Kate. There were Indians who lived there before, and their enemies were nearby, so they had to hide in the heat and they starved. That is correct. 
In the book, In the Year of the Boar and Jackie Robinson, how did Shirley earn the friendship of Mabel, the tallest, strangest, and fastest girl in the fifth grade? In the book, In the Year of the Boar and Jackie Robinson, how did Shirley earn the friendship of Mabel, the tallest, strangest, fastest girl in the fifth grade? Um, they they fought and Mabel gave her two black eyes, I mean a black eye, and still Shirley didn't run away. Because she was strong and that way Mabel saw, thought, Mabel was like, um, cussing at, cussing at Shirley and still Shirley didn't go away. She just stood there. Um, she was saying that she wouldn't go away because she was like a princess. And, um, and, uh, and... Okay, you got it right. Just answer me a question just for the rest of us. Um, yes or no? Did Shirley reveal Mabel's name? Um, no. no. Yes. 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 And did she make peace with Shirley? Yeah. Yes. In the book, Tut Tut, what did the Time Lord Trio say they were when they were accused of being temple robbers? Hey, she <laughs> yeah. In the book, Nasty Stinky Sneakers, why does Colin refuse to wash his sneakers? In the book, Nasty Stinky Sneakers, why does Colin refuse to wash his sneakers? The awards ceremony brings everyone together for the first time. As hundreds of Olympians and spectators move toward the event, organizers are checking scores and assigning ribbons. Although scores are read during the presentation, they are never published or used for other purposes. Each participant is a winner and receives a ribbon. Dignitaries on hand come from school and IU administration, the community, and with luck, an author is on hand to greet the crowd. It's a privilege to not be the first school to host the Montgomery County Reading Olympics program. It's also a pleasure to see so many students here who are interested and exciting about reading. I must commend the fine group of people who are responsible for the enormous task of putting this fine program together, especially the steering committee of Ruth Beals, Maria Johns, Lou Robinson, Mary Louise Hunniger, Mary McGuire, Kathy Tauber, and Randy Wall. Believe me, it was no easy task. I congratulate the winners in this competition, but more importantly, I praise all the students and their parents for being involved in such a beneficial program. Thank you. you will be with us for the next Reading Olympics.